Hi everybody. So we are at my Airbnb and Ephrata PA. Ephrata. <laughs> Ephrata. What, whatever it's called. That's Ephrata. where we're at. Ephrata. It's Ephrata. We are going to show you what we got in South Carolina. Dale is helping me. This is Dale Flippin' Fiasco. If you do not know, she has a YouTube channel. Dalton is down there somewhere. We are going to show you what we got in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, as well as well as in Pennsylvania on the first day thrifting. I will tell you, I got twice as much on the second day. So some good videos will be coming out. So let's take a look at what we have already done. Okay, first Dalton is showing you his duck. Show him the duck. Um, this is my number ducky. You done the lion. Right, so this is going to be layer number one here. I'm going to show you. These have come from Myrtle Beach, from Pennsylvania, in Country Thrift, and a couple other places. So first is this cute little pineapple cross stitch this one was 75 cents it'll probably go for about 10 maybe 15 this is a vanilla bouquet i told you guys i got for myself these i paid a dollar 99 for at goodwill in myrtle beach these are food covers so i passed these up before and you guys yelled at me dalton has been playing with them the whole time in the car not sure how that will go and then this cute little cross stitch was a dollar ninety nine. It said, "I'm so glad I live in a world where there are October's." A quote from Ellen Montgomery, but really, really cute needlepoint there. And then this is a beautiful Daisy table runner. This one was three dollars. So you guys ask how I price the linens. It really just depends on how they look. You're not going to find exact comps. So this one I'll probably do about twenty five to thirty. This is a really nice napkin you can see the embroidery there this one was two and we'll probably go for about 12 to 15 and then i got this columbia pfg shirt it was 4.99 in myrtle beach it is a small but it's a really nice mint green and your keyword with those is the vented and the pfg i had two of these i got up in birmingham they both already sold so paid five should go for about 25 dollars and then last up top here is this really cool apple and apple core purse. I am going to throw that in the washer. That one I got at the bin, so it actually costs less than $2. Why? And then I got this one here, which I think is Deruda. It is Deruda Italy. This one I paid, it's not a video if I don't drop something. Um, I paid five and I think this will go for about 15 to 20. And then this, and I made the mistake of pulling out the tape measure because it will not go back in. But this is a really cool vintage pin cushion. And then it had the tape measure. You can see the white flakes there. It was made in Japan and it says Dixie Cavern Salem. This was three. I expect that to go for 15 to 20. And then this really cool sand dollar and seashell lucite wood little trinket box that I paid $2 for. <laughs> and that one says Design and Gifts International. Made in the USA. So there is that one. And if you guys want any of this stuff, just send me an email, cat at the nurseflipper.com. I got two of these. They match. I think they could be soap dishes, but then they've got the little sand timers and they do work. And these I got in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina as well. They were only 99 cents at the thrift store. And I do have the pair of them. And then I also got these two letter openers these were from country thrift as well i paid three dollars you can see the cloisonne there this one should go for about 20 to 25 and then i also got this one that says be happy you are loved really cool and this one does say robert schuler ministries 1987 i like selling letter openers there is mr duck again and then this one I picked up yesterday at Country Thrift, $2. This is just Studio Pottery. 
probably sell for about 20 to 25. Yes. Would you like to show them your eggs now? Okay. I take eggs. That's your eggs. Can you tell them about them? Um, they are doing nothing. But they are kind of cute, aren't they? Yeah, they are kind of cute. Okay. No, sweetie, these are. No, I'm going to show the rest. Set it down. All right. And then this, somebody actually told me this goes on a grave. I got this at the thrift store. It says World War 1941 to 1945 with the eagle. And then that's the back. And it was presented by the county commissioners, Lancaster, PA. So I'm not sure. I got to research that a little more. And then I did have a wall hanging like this. This is a little picture frame with like the storyteller people. And this one, I paid $1.99 at Goodwill. I did get these fragrance sticks for the shed. This Redken looks like it sells for about $20 a bottle. I paid $3.50. This one was from Country Thrift. And then I got these candles in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I really only got a few things the whole time I was in Myrtle Beach. So that's why you have not seen a thrifting video. These are nutmeg and spice. And some of these are sold for $15 a piece. I paid $3 for all four. This was probably one of my best finds from yesterday. I paid $2.50 for this. And this is a Waverly. I think this will sell for $50 plus. That is a shower curtain. And then these little blankets. These were also at the Goodwill in Lancaster. This one was $1.50. And this one was $2.50. So these for me don't typically go high. This one will probably go $20 to $25. This one will go $25 to $30. This was by far my best find. Now you see Dale. See Dale? Um, <laughs> this was my best find in Myrtle Beach. This is a needlepoint professionally framed with the flowers in the vase. Um, and this one I got for only $5.99. And I do think I can get at least $150 to $200, maybe a little more there. And then I got this little fishy bowl, not marked. Paid 75 cents, should go for 10 to 15. This one is Homer Laughlin. I have not looked up the pattern yet, but this one was only a dollar. This bunny surprised me. So I got this at the Goodwill. I paid $3.99. It says 2010 Blue Sky. I actually only found a couple of these and one sold for $50. So this should be a really, really good sale. And it is a little candlelight. This I thought said Bahamas when I showed you it in the video yesterday, but in fact it says Miami Beach. So it is a vintage Miami Beach vase. This one costs a dollar. Should sell for about 15 to 20. Here is the little ship that I picked up for two dollars. You can tell on the inside this was handmade, which is really cool. And then I got this little marble vase. The Amish plate is Homer Laughlin. It does not sell for a ton, only about 15 to 20, but I only paid four and I just thought it was cool. Whoa. And then these two are both stangled plates, a beautiful pattern. Dalton's eggs. This one is a glass one, which is really cool. We did pay five for these. And then the Cloisonade, they'll probably sell for about 15 to 20. This apple paperweight is signed Stephen Pierce. I will pop up comps if I find them. So if you look on the bottom here, Let's see if there you go. Oh. Stephen Pierce, it is signed, paid three dollars. And then I got this scarf, Santa scarf at the bin, so it costs less than 50 cents. It is not branded, but I think it will sell well. And this is the little muffineer that I got, it does say made in Japan for a dollar. This is a really cool vest, so I did pay five dollars for this. But it says Chuga Chuga, made in New Orleans, Louisiana. And then it's got Bourbon Street, Creole pepper sauce, the French quarters. So I'm hoping to get 45 to 50 for that. I wanted to show you guys, I got these pants at the bin. I did not check them good. They have a rip. Look at that. So I'm probably just going to toss those. And then... This cute little shell box, the shell stuff does sell, was only $1.99. And Dale is presenting. Ta-da! It is a belt. This one is marked. This is why I got it, because I was able to look it up. It is marked. Made in the USA. 
Dixie Leather. Genuine, it says genuine leather made in the USA by Dixie Leather. It is vintage. There's the Eagle Belt Buckle. Really, really pretty, like turquoise blue in this. There, you can see it. And this one I paid five at Goodwill. And I think this will sell for about 35 to 40 So now we are going to clear this off and we're going to show you All some right, more. Here is the second half of what we got. There's Dale. Dale is going to help me because this is layered. There's Dalton. Dalton, say hi. Okay, but you can't color while I'm doing my video, okay? Okay. 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 Can you say hi to the people? I'm I'm high. Okay. So, first up is this really cool rug. It has got the birds there and the people. I got this at the bins, guys. So, I paid less than a dollar for that one. And then, Dale, <laughs> Dale is Vanna White that you don't see. And then I got... And me and Dale both found one of these. We paid, I think, $3 for them at Goodwill. Let's see. Oh, Dale has the tag. Too fitty. Too fitty <laughs> for these. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be able to get like 20 to 25 for those. They're Disney Vacation Club Member Cruise Film Festival. And then, <laughs> who is this, Dale? The Philadelphia Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. And it says we're taking this outside, Philadelphia, PA, February 2019. And that one was only, I think, $3, too. $2.50. $2.50. We got these cheap. All right. Moving on. This jacket is absolutely amazing. It is suede. I don't... This feels like real fur. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of you got mad at me when I showed some real fur stuff, but... This one is Duck Sport New York. It is an extra L. Extra L. <laughs> it is an extra large. This is a really, really nice jacket. I did not see any flaws on this. And we got it from the bins. It is coming apart at the seams just a tiny bit there. But, oh, there's a hole. Mom, can oh, you fix so the hole? Mom can fix the hole. So, really nice jacket. I think we'll sell for over 100 and then the pillows look at all of the pillows so this poinsettia pillow i believe i got in south carolina at the salvation army i paid 2.99 or maybe it was for mission thrift and you might see videos of this i just did not find much in south carolina so i'll have to put them in with something else and then this pillow was at the bend so paid less than a dollar this one I also got in South Carolina for $2.99. This one has some oblique with Santa. Got some little corduroy going on there. And then the back is velvet. And then this was my thumbnail picture Wednesday. This corgi pillow I should hopefully get over $100. And then I have this French knot with the lace pillow. This one I got in South Carolina as well. I paid $3 for that. And then this crochet trivet i believe that might have been at the bins i think that was at the bins and i, I got this is a do-rag it's a butterfly do-rag so if you wear do-rags i got your do-rag really cool this is actually a gap brand and then this uh knit purse and it has a cute little money pouch with it i paid 2.99 at goodwill this one is really nice this is actually hand quilted and handmade and it was only $2.99 at Goodwill. And really pretty interior. It actually looks almost brand new. This is a really, really nice bag. And then, Souvenir de Paris. This one I got at Country Thrift for $2. Should get about $15 to $20 for that. This Curious George, I actually picked up at the bins and did not notice it is curious george pottery barn paid less than a dollar it should sell for about 15 to 20. this is another needlepoint pillow from the bins less than a dollar should get about 30 for that and then i got more and loft and talbot corduroy at the bins so paid less than three they should sell for 20 to 25. this is banana republic same thing 
20 to 25 and all of these were at the bins this also was at the bins so ignore the 550 because it was at the bins i paid less than a dollar and this one i recognize the name brand these do sell good this is um poly flinders hand smocked and this one should sell for about 30 to 35 maybe a little bit more and then these are really nice martha stewart sheets these were at the bins they are Martha Stewart every day. I'm not sure what size they are. I haven't looked, but because they're at the bins, I probably paid about $3 for the whole set. And these are really, really nice. If they fit my bed, I might keep these. And then Scooby-Doo was $1.99 at Goodwill. There are two of them, and they should sell for about $35 to $40. And then look at all of these linens, just in case you did not see them all Wednesday. There are two matching sets of these Christmas tree cross stitch hand towels. I did pay $2.75 each for those. Should get about $30 for the set. I did buy this sea turtle flag to go on my flagpole. It is Primitives by Caitlin. And then I got two of these little roll um, baskets. This one's really, really nice. I paid three dollars for this one and i paid three dollars for this one so here is this one and it does this one has the snaps to snap it together to keep it up in the bowl here is the love is kind cross stitch bookmark i did pay three dollars for this i thought i paid two but it should sell for about 10 to 15 and then i got these two little ones for a dollar each they should go for about 15 to 20 the beautiful butterfly 95 cents should go for about 15 to 20 so again with these like this one i'll probably price at 25 because the butterfly is nice where like this one is a little more simple so i'd price that at about 15 so that one was also a dollar and then here is another really pretty butterfly 95 cents again depending on how much detail is in these is how i decide what i price i typically price between 15 and 25 dollars this one was a dollar as well this one will probably be about a 15 dollar because that's pretty plain color wise and then this one will probably be about 20 and that's because it's got the lace uh edging and the bouquet i paid 75 this one though because it's got the ombre crochet edge as well as these awesome pink and green embroidered flowers this one i'll probably price at about 25. so i'm hoping you guys kind of see where i'm going with that and then this canada centennial will probably go for about 25. this is a gorgeous table runner look at the bro bouquet there and this has got really pretty lace and it is on both sides and then they've got the little delicate flowers going across them this one was a dollar 95 this one was one of my favorites because it's got the lotus blossom so this will appeal to like asian buyers because the lotus is really big in asian culture and this one i did pay two dollars for and it will probably i'll probably try and list this at about 45 to 50. and then we have mice or rats whatever they are this one was only a dollar because it has a spot but i think this is like a dresser scarf or a table runner and then this is on all four corners if you guys saw yesterday the really cool victorian lady and she's under the arbor so like this one could either be like a small tablecloth or a table centerpiece this one was five but i will probably try and get 45 to 50 for that one and then this awesome table runner here so with this one you can keyword you've got grapes you've got strawberries you've got something else i don't know what but this is a really cool table runner this one the price tag fell off i think i paid 275 there was a 275 on the ground oh yeah i think that's what i paid and then this one has the Lord is my shepherd on both sides. And this is another table runner paid $1.95. This one I'll probably try and get 40 to 45 for just because it's got so much work. So if you look and see the more work that goes into these, that is how you would decide how much you would price. This one, we don't know what this is. So, and I really don't care. Look at this work. 
the swan, the butterfly. So we're thinking maybe a valance because it has unfinished edges, so it would need to be finished. We only paid $1.75, but like this work is just amazing. So somebody could take this out and put it onto something else if they wanted. I would probably try and get $45 to $50 for that one as well. And then the little bouquet. This one was $1.25. Somebody told me like this could be used to go on like the arms of the chair, so possible what that is. And then these napkins, there are three, have the little buttons and a basket. They were $2 each. So I will probably try and get about 25 to 35 for the set of three. And then we have another center piece or table runner. That one has pansies in it with the basket. Look, this one was only 15 cents. Let's see if we can figure out why. Now there is a tiny flaw here. I don't see anything else, guys. So paying 15 cents for that, it does have the ombre crochet border. This will probably be another $35 to $40 piece. And then this one also has spots, so it was 95 cents, but this is a lot of work as well, cross stitch. I, where's the spot? Oh, there is a gray spot there. But this will still probably go for 25 to 30. So that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed i got two to three times this much when i went thrifting today so that video will come out on wednesday next week because monday is going to be another what sold video i will be making it in south carolina again from the resort so watch on Monday for that. I will see my members tomorrow from South Carolina. We will be doing live sourcing and look on the community page for that post. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going thrifting again tomorrow with Dale who has so graciously helped me. So if you guys have not checked out her channel, Flippin' Fiasco, definitely do it. And yeah, I will see my members tomorrow and everybody else on Monday. Bye guys. We are going to go on a horse and buggy ride. And Dalton's gonna get to get some cookies. Tell him hello.